the pain ended quickly. I rose and tried to find my body, probably lying mangled underneath the metallic wreck. Dying in a road accident is definitely the worst way to go. So, had a nice life? Asked a voice behind me. I turned around to find a woman smiling. Since she could see me, I was pretty sure she was a soul like me. She giggled. You are taking it pretty well. I am Cindy, by the way. I spoke evenly. What... what happens now? Hell? Heaven? She laughed louder. Before I could say something, I heard a commotion from far off. Cindy shouted, Come on! And she ran. She turned and yelled, Have you been good? Wh what Have you done any good while you lived? Totally confused, I sputtered. I... Uh, donated blood once. As we reached the source of the noise, I was dumbstruck to find hundreds of people ripping each other apart in front of a hospital. Disgusted, I shouted, What is happening here? Cindy replied, Someone is giving birth here. The souls are fighting to get inside the newborn shell. But the baby- Listen to me. There is no baby until a soul penetrates it. If no soul makes it inside, the shell is pronounced dead by doctors. She continued, Your fighting strength depends on your karma. So the soul of a rapist, or a pedophile, etc., stands no chance. They will never get a shell, and will painfully wither away. Children, though, are the most dangerous. Pure souls. Stay away from them during fights. But what about heaven and hell? This is hell. And more importantly, the life you left behind, that is heaven. <laughs>